Hello ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to a new episode of Legend. Uh, today we are taking a look at a uh, submission from a Jfire88. Now, uh, this is his original deck, and his question was, how can you make this more reliable in terms of uh, number of cards and playability? Well, uh, the original deck had, I believe, 95 cards. Uh, there's one legged uh, Rick, Ricky, Rick, whatever. And um, where are they? Two more cards that I don't have. Uh, a forward camp. Two copies of forward camp that I don't have. I don't have forward camp at all. Um, the problem is that he actually wanted to remove a lot of stuff. To make it worthwhile, having a 75 card deck is much better than having a 92 card deck. Uh, talk about um, draws and um, consistency. <laughs> so, this was his initial deck. Uh, we've got uh, Septon Guardsman, Outflank, Scouting Patrol, Scout Support, Ungolim, Empire Recruiter, Guildstone Revitalizer, Empire Lackey, um, Mentor of the Watch. Also have Battle of Kalman Keep. I don't think that is a really good card at all. A Mushroom Tower, I have no idea why. Um, I think he added it with some good intention. J588, if you're watching, uh, please leave a comment. Um, so his question was, how do you make it uh, better? Well, first of all, Praetorian Commander has no place in here. Uh, if this is supposed to be a somewhat of a token deck, then Praetorium Commander has no place in it. Uh, and let's see what I did actually, because I started working on the build. So I've reduced to 75, um, I kept two out flags, Scouting Patrol, Scouts Reports, Angolim the Listener, Boomer Profiteer, Empire Recruiter, Fifth Legion Trainer, Gilstorm Revitalize Imperial Lackey, and one cop just one copy of Inspiring Soldier. Um, we only have like a few creatures that are green. It might be a problem. The, the work still ne uh, the deck still needs some work though. Know? Um, the curve is not that great, but it's supposed to work as a mid deck, uh, not necessarily in token generation and uh, aggro uh, right away. Uh, but I made it to be more midish. Uh, we've got Divine Fervor. Gilson Cavalier, because we got a lot of stuff, uh, we can trigger that. Um, sea Light Visionary, said each friendly creature's power equal to its health, so this is a great addition. Uh, the Necromancer's Amulet could still be removed, I kept it in case I wanted to trade uh, the early uh, tokens that I generate, but only one copy in a 75 card deck. We'll see if we can draw it. Uh, remove the uh, Mushroom Tower, get Red Brahmin. Ordinary Necromancer, Cleveton, Bishop of the Hour, Watch Commander, Thorn, His Mage, uh, Snowhawk Detachment, kept only two. Lydia, we have the Ruby Throne, um, Empire Oathman, three copies, Legion Zero Templar, uh, Strategic Deployment, reduced to only one copy, and um, only one copy of Imperial Siege Engine because we already have a lot of five costs. So this is what I managed to uh, to build so far. Um, so let's uh, let's see how, how it behaves and uh, it'll probably need more tinkering. But for now, let's see how it feels and uh, we'll see if that three cost gap needs to be filled and more of the five costs need to be reduced. Okay, and we just got matched with a Gilsorn. Einstein, Einstein, 86. I've met the guy before. Um, yeah. I'll keep... Oh, Imperial Lackey, I'll keep it, of course. Uh, a Nazi and Phalanx. I have the ring, so maybe I could use both. Definitely need to cut back on the five costs and add more three costs and two costs, I think. But that will make it more aggro-ish and less mid-range-ish. I don't know. Mm. Oh. <laughs> uh, past turn 3, we have a lot of playability. Uh, let's summon Imperial Lackey. 
Mm, let's put it in the shadow lane. It's going to be interesting to see if we manage to draw our stuff or not in case um, we need to reconsider the drawing mechanisms because currently uh, there aren't mm, that much drawing mechanism except uh, at least low cost. Um, we've got Scout's report and I think that's that. <laughs> we do have a lot of guards so uh, I think when J5 built this, he, he was a little bit inspired by it. If you remember, I had a spell sword uh, full of guard creatures. That was pretty fun. Let's try and protect the shadow lane for six damage. Dragon tail savior. Steel dagger, so yeah, I will only be protected from five damage. Receive two damage and two more damage from the crown quartermaster. <clears throat> Another crown quartermaster. Well, my opponent is burning cars though. Maybe I could take advantage of that. Let's drop phalanx exemplary. It'll die most likely. There's no other outcome. My opponent uh, does have a steel, uh, a steel sword, so equipping the steel sword will uh, will get rid of the phalanx, phalanx exemplary. Only the two crowned quartermaster remains, and piercing twilight. Most likely, the phalanx exemplary will go away. No, uh, Emperor's Blade. Okay. Nice pick. Well, Emperor, Emperor's Blade is... Uh, although it has less HP and uh, its attack is with one less, uh, it has the options, uh, the option to gain HP via trading. So yeah, that was the better target for Piercing Twilight. We're going to seal the... Um, the guard, unless my opponent has uh, sources negation, a Nazi should be fine, or maybe a Sentinel Battle Mason. A Nazi will no longer be fine. <laughs> oh, another piercing twilight, and this time it must be the Phalanx Exemplary. Yep, there it goes. I think we have uh, have more stuff that can help us at least win. Uh, we're down to 12 HP. My opponent is at 30. We didn't even chip uh, some 1 HP <laughs> off his hero. Um, well, the only option is to use an RC and to trade into that uh, Piercing Twilight in the Shadow Lane. And somehow use the Legion Zero Templar. Well, I need to have two cre uh, a creature in each lane at least. So let's play fifth legion trainer. This should help with uh, dealing some damage, not just two attack. That would have been uh, not that good. It'll die. Piercing Twilight and uh, the two Crown Quarter Master combined had eight damage. Well, opponent uh, went for an even better solution. Um, Lightning Bolt and favorable trade with um, the Piercing Twilight. And opponent just shackled the Fifth Legion Trainer, so there's no possibility for me to trade back. Good thing I have another one in hand. And this time I don't think he's got another lightning bolt. I'm gonna play this. And uh let's let's go with Empire Recruiter. At least we'll get we'll get some tokens up. 
Uh, I'll keep that. Not going to deal damage to face. I don't want to give my opponent uh, more cards. I just want to survive for now. Oh, he's gone. Wardcrafter. Okay. So it's dead again. Telvos Magister. How do we get rid of that? Empire Oathman. I'm gonna play General Tullius. And I'll play it into the shadowing. Uh, this will give me at least a guard in the shadow lane, otherwise, uh, maybe dead. I'll get rid of that, and I will hit for face. Unfortunately, no pilfering involved, so I will not summon a recruit in the shadow lane. And by recruiter, uh, whenever you pilfer, summon a 1 1 recruit in the other lane. I think uh, um, uh, General Tullius is uh, is growing steadily, surely. Oh, that's the third piercing twilight. What's it going to be this time? Fifth Legion Trainer. <laughs> mm, a good thing we have Red Brahman. So for nine H, uh, nine Magicka. I'll just use. Uh, Red Brahmin. <laughs> I'm so sleepy. Soon. Okay, let's see what we can do right now. I don't want to tr uh, to go face. Even though another recruit might be really helpful. Uh, 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 uh. I will trade two of my creatures unfavorably because I want two, uh, two empty spots in the shadow lane. Because I can bring back Legion Zero. <laughs> With ordinary necromancer, of course. Uh, so what do we trade? Well, well, Red Brahmin versus Selvos Magister, Empire Recruiter, and Recruit. General Tullius is growing. Oh, let's bring back the Legion Zero Templar and uh, play ourselves an, uh, an Empire Oathman. Next time we can even go crazy with Legion Prefect and Warcry. <laughs> We've got the 3 9 into Shadow Lane as a guard. There's no silence. There's no end game for my opponent. Uh, Ward. I'm a bit scared about another lightning bolt. Trigger it as a prophecy, and uh, it might be the end of us. Well, we have lethal. So we should try, at least. Okay, and Legion Prefect. That is great. Uh, do we have any way to skip the, the last rune or last two runes? Nah, nope. That's because I messed up. I should have played uh, a buffing uh, element after I, w uh, I attacked. That way my opponent would have been at 11 and 
No prophecy. Well, the deck feels pretty good. Needs more revamp, of course. So, thank you guys for watching. Leave a comments below. Cheers. Thank <laughs> you.